He's an artist who's best known for his incredible abstract wooden art pieces, along with his love for photography. Here to tell us more about his work is artist Mako Watanabe. Mako, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. I appreciate yes. it. Yes. As you can tell, everybody, I'm surrounded by <laughs> beautiful abstract wooden art pieces, all created by yours all truly. Mm -hmm. So first, let's get started with who are you as an artist? How did you first get into wooden art pieces? Yeah, for what I'm, I just graduated from Santa Clara University. Congrats. And thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, my teacher, Ryan Carrington, he actually showed me kind of like how to use the wood tools and kind of angle grinder. He started me with an angle grinder and then I started going to like more die grinders and kind of more of these textures and creating these shapes. Oh, and, that's yeah. amazing. So you, you're, you mean to tell me you haven't been doing this that long? Uh, no, only for about two years now. Oh, wow. so. <laughs> okay, you're yeah. already a pro. So I love to hear about that. So you're an artist in general. And as, as everyone can see, like I said, these beautiful wooden art pieces, but you're also into photography. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, I've been taking photos for about six years now. I want to uh, kind of go into the photo industry and kind of pursue that as well, uh, as long, alongside my uh, wood art pieces too. Mm -hmm. um, but I do uh, sports photography, I like taking portraits kind of all over uh, landscape and I have, uh, yeah, this one of my, the Golden Gate Bridge I actually took a couple weeks ago. Oh, beautiful. Uh, it was my first time across the Golden Gate, so that was fun. Really? Um, yeah, it was actually, yeah. No way. Very first time, so this one's in Chicago. Um, oh, but so yeah, incredible. no, these, uh, I love taking photos, kind of just, you know, Kind of, I, I feel I have an eye for everything, and I kind of just love capturing that, and yeah. you know, sharing my work, and uh, all my friends love it. And, well, yeah. I can tell, I can tell that you have an eye for art, and if you don't mind, I'd love mm -hmm. to go through a few of these pieces. Of Let's first start over here, mm -hmm. Mako. Tell me about this piece. This one, I my naming for everything is kind of simple. This one's my 16-inch circle. So as circle. It, as it, okay, yeah, I like 16 that. 16-inch circle, simple. <laughs> uh, this is actually my most recent piece that I created. Um, it's. Uh, Kind of taking off these uh, sculptures, but like kind of mm -hmm. more in a circular uh, motion and kind of you know that shape, and and then I welded the bottom together to kind of have that oh base gosh, and the so stand. Beautiful. And how long does a piece like this normally take you? Uh, good, maybe like a couple weeks, a good amount of time. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of on and off. I also I like to work on multiple projects at the same time too, because like if I were to just carve that and then have the, one of these like stained or something, so mm -hmm. it kind of. It allows me to work on multiple projects more at once. Amazing. So. Okay, so let's move on to these ones mm -hmm. up here. These are kind of similar. It seems like one's a yeah. smaller version. Right, yeah. So this <laughs> one, uh, yeah, this is uh, for my senior show. Uh, this is initially for my senior show. Um, this is my smaller 7-inch cube and then my 10-inch cube. So, you know, staying on the basic names. But, um, yeah. yeah, you know, they, uh, they really started. They're kind of the ones that uh, started all this kind of the shapes and this one especially too. This these were a part of the I series. I really love this one. But yeah, this one's my it's called culmination. It was technically my culmination of my work at Santa Clara University. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a you know big five foot wall piece that I I'd put a lot of time into, you know. Oh my goodness. Um, but yeah. Gorgeous. Okay, so I love the cubes yeah. and I, I like <laughs> how you keep sometimes simplicity is the best way to go. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. so tell me about this piece right here. This piece actually as well as also a part of my senior show. These are this is one of the parentheses. I named it parentheses this one's parentheses two. There's another one that um, I have, and uh, it kind of they framed this big piece, and my friend was like, "Oh, it looks like parentheses." So I was like, "Oh, new parentheses, you know?" <laughs> like we're going with exactly. that. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, they're a little smaller wall piece, you know, kind of uh -huh. more straightforward and kind of um, kind of uses that more vertical instead of this horizontal. But mm -hmm. I like the kind of having those as well in addition to the big art piece to kind of bring everything together, you know. And something funny, I do have to share this with our viewers. You actually brought a piece with you that you did just yesterday. I did just yesterday. Isn't yeah. that right? Mm -hmm. Tell us about the piece. Show, show so it off for us. So this piece actually. So I, I wanted to bring it because I want to show the progression of my work. So this is kind of what I start with, kind of just like a like block. A, a block? Yeah, I, uh, I cut plywood mm -hmm. and it kind of creates this like box pattern. And then I carve it down. I don't really spend too much time like car or like drawing and planning out. I kind of just draw lines and kind of go and just carve and, and see where it, it? yeah and just freehand it. Kind of see where it takes me. No way. And the, yeah, and so this is wow. kind of a unfinished. It's a little rougher texture. Uh, this one over here is actually a little more uh, sanded. Yeah, um, I feel that. Yeah, it's a little more smoother. Nice. Yeah, as compared to this. And then this is a full finished piece that I made. A couple months ago, yeah. Okay, but. so can you walk <laughs> me through the process, Mako? Because, like you said, it starts with this, right? right. Or is there a step even before that? Uh, yes, actually. To get to this, I have to cut sheets of plywood, just big sheets of plywood. I use maple plywood for everything. I like how it gives me that texture and, like, the, the grain. And uh, we using plywood, I get a lot of variety, and each piece is very unique. And, you know, mm -hmm. it gives different lines and colors and everything. So it's always fun to mess around and look and uh, see what I can do with a 
you know, a new piece and yeah. kind of see where it goes. But yeah, so I, I kind of draw on here mm -hmm. and then I, um, I like carve and then it goes to, it goes down to here. Amazing. And then, yeah, I sand it to over here. And, and then I finally we stain we it and, you know, it. and then I also weld these bases together. I learned how to weld through Santa Clara, so. That's awesome. And, yeah. and you actually recently had an opportunity to showcase your work. Mm -hmm. Tell yeah. me about the booth. I, uh, I had a booth up in Hammerling Wines in Berkeley. Uh, that was a very nice opportunity of them to invite me there, and it was very fun to, it was my very first booth, so yeah, I, I had all my, literally all my <laughs> art pieces there. Um, so that was very fun. I yeah. sold actually a, a good amount of these trophy pieces. These are called, uh -huh. I, tro I call these trophy sculptures. It's very much like a trophy. It does look like one. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I sold uh, I sold all six of mine actually. Congrats. So it was, it was very fun, my first like selling. So it was And it was did good. you also receive an award recently I did, for yes. some of your work? Actually, uh, the, I don't have it right now, but it's up in Washington actually right now for a show. But I won two awards at my uh, end of school year party, end of year school party. Um, at my at the Santa Clara University in the Dow department. So uh, yeah, this one right there, it's called Shogunai. Uh -huh. It means like, it is what it is. It doesn't matter, kind of. I use it as like scrap pieces actually from this piece. So I just wow. kind of put them all together and start carving, you know. <laughs> and you have one more, well, an opportunity actually this weekend that people right. can come and see you if yeah. they'd like to. Up in Walla Walla, Washington. Yeah. It's gonna be about, what, six degrees, I believe. <laughs> Ooh, chilly. <laughs> so yeah, it's definitely a, lot, a little warmer here. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go up to Walla Walla, Washington and, and the uh, Combine Art Collective, uh, mm -hmm. their gallery, they have a juried show. So I got invited to that. My, my piece got selected for it. So that was oh my gosh. very, you know, very honored. That's to have amazing. That. Well, congratulations, thank Mako. You. It was such an honor to have you here on the show and feature some of your incredible wooden art pieces. So thank you so much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Of course. It.